11.3a, Add and Subtract Rational Expressions. This is a review of the LCD of numbers with prime factorization. Recall that prime factorization is a product of primes. To find the LCD, we use each unique factors with highest exponents. So in example one, if we're trying to find the LCD of 20 and 36, we're going to take and do the prime factorization of 20. Well, 20 is divisible by 2, that leaves us with 10. 10 is divisible by 2, and that would leave us with 5. Whoops. So the prime factorization for 20 is 2 squared times 5. For 36, well, it's divisible by 2. That would give us 18. 18 is divisible by 2. That would give us 9. 9 is divisible by 3, and that would leave us 3. So the prime factorization for them for 36 is 2 squared times 3 squared. So that means for our LCD, we're going to take each factor each unique factor, and we're going to take the highest exponent for each. So that means we're going to have 2 squared times 3 squared times 5. And then we would, of course, multiply this out. When we're dealing with irrational expressions, we don't multiply them out, we leave them in a factored form. So here, we would take 4 times 9, which would be 36 times our 5, and we would get 180. So that means technically here our LCD is 180. Let's look at the LCD for each one of these. Well, 18 is divisible by 2, that leaves us with 9. 9 is divisible by 3, that leaves us with 3. So we got 2 times, whoops, sorry, it's not writing well. Three squared. Now let's look at 54. Well, 54 is divisible by 2. We would get 27. 27 is divisible by 3. That would leave us with 9. 9 is divisible by 3. That would leave us with 3. So now we have 2 times 3 cubed. Now let's look at 81. Well, 81 is divisible by 3. That would leave us with 27. 27 is divisible by 3. That would leave us with 9. 9 is divisible by 3, and that would leave us with 3, giving us 3 to the 4th power. So our LCD for this one is going to contain 2 times 3 to the 4th. Or in other words, 2 times 81 and we get 162. And we found the LCD for these three numbers.